is Soviet thinking on naval aviation. Clearly, Soviet strategists did not believe they had a need for large carriers able to support a wide variety of aircraft. American thinking, on the other hand, has gone towards the development of massive carriers, often nuclear-powered. These, the largest of man's mobile creations, are able to convey and support several different types of aircraft. Carriers provide the U.S. with the option of sending its potent air power to areas where it does not control airstrips, as was the case in various stages of the Second World War, the Korean conflict, Vietnam, and more recently, the Persian Gulf. American attack carrier can only be perceived as the ultimate gunboat. But if an aircraft carrier is to provide the weapons, it is also an inviting target. With up to 5,000 lives and an almost irreplaceable amount of technology, aircraft carriers are vulnerable to aerial attack. To counter this threat, the United States Navy relies almost entirely on one remarkable aircraft, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat. 